Hey guys, and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So this time around, it's obviously October 2022, so we have got a few Halloween-y ones this month around as well. So once again, we've got access to five amazing assets free for this month, and you can keep them permanently afterwards. So we've got Undead Pack, Halloween Pumpkins, Advanced AI Spawn System, Zombie Movement and Modular Interaction Animations, and the 4-in-1 Modular Research Facility. So I'm going to be covering these five different assets today, and obviously leaving links in the description down below. So let's get right into it, starting with the Undead Pack. So there's not a lot to say on this on the Unmerging Marketplace, and obviously the videos showcase it as well, but it is literally as it sounds, it is a pack of five undead characters. So there's five characters, 65 animations, and it is all modular. So the five different characters we have are a lich, a ghoul, a skeleton, a zombie, and an enemy goblin. There are four LODs for each of the characters, and the different textures we have are the color, normal, roughness, the ambient occlusion, emissive, and opacity, all of which are both 2K and 4K, so it's very good quality. These are rigged, and they are rigged to the epic skeleton as well. However, there are additional bones for the armor, quiver, helmet, clothes, and hair. This does also include IK bones as well. And like I said earlier, this is animated, and there are 65 different animations all of which are in place. There's 23 materials and 36 textures, again, like I said earlier, those are 2K and 4K. And that's all there is on the Marketplace page for this asset pack, but again, I think this one looks absolutely great. The characters themselves look very high quality, and again, they are animated too. So I think this is great, and let's move on to the next one, which is the Halloween Pumpkins 150 plus variations. So this is an environment pack, which is well suited for both AAA quality projects and projects with a focus on optimization and performance. So this includes 146 total meshes, which are for the props and the environment. There are 66 textures, all of which are custom made and range from 1K to 4K. And there's 32 materials with three base materials and 29 material instances. Included in this, there's also a demo scene with setup lighting and an example layout for your environment to give you a good idea of how this can work and what it can really achieve. There is collision automatically generated for this as well, but there are no LODs. So once again, not a lot to say about this. It's really what you expect, what you're seeing on the screenshots on screen now. It's over 150 plus variations of pumpkins and also some different environment assets as well. For example, all the foliage, the fences, the tools, the mud, the ground, all that different stuff, which you'd want in a spooky kind of horror environment themed around Halloween. Next, we've got the advanced AI spawn system. So this is obviously an advanced AI spawn system, which allows you to quickly complete your AI level or world. So this is also only one blueprint, which works for the entire level. And the system works in the construction script, so you'll immediately see the results as you make all the changes. You can add any number of spawn areas with individual AI spawn settings in your world as well. And this is suitable for spawning in confined spaces. So some more features of this are there's two different types of area spawn, those being a sphere or a box. You can configure the area dimensions. You can select a spawn location. You can choose the pawns and the amount of pawns in each area individually. And you can add area names and see information about the number of AIs as well. So maybe you want specific AIs to spawn in the garden and other AIs to spawn in the house. You can see how many AIs are in which location and very quickly and easily see the differences between the two. This does also have the ability to work with world composition as well, so that won't break anything. You have a system startup timer. It is network replicated, so it will work on multiplayer as well. And this will work with or without behavior trees. You have the ability to individually enable the display of spawn boxes in each area, so you can optimize viewing at larger volumes. You have the ability to respawn AI. You can select objects to ignore. You can set the maximum spawn angle for inclined surfaces, so they're not gonna spawn on a 90 degree wall, but they could spawn on a 45 degree hill, for example. And there's many more things on this as well, but obviously for a full list, you can check out the Marketplace page yourself. So the Advanced AI Spawn System also has several optimization steps depending on the distance from the player. So the first step is when you exit the set radius, the AI becomes invisible. The second step is the pawn is destroyed, but random movement continues within the spawn area. And this third step is the movement is turned off and switches to the waiting mode for entering the player radius. So again, this is very, very well optimized for larger maps and a larger amount of AI as well. So some final technical details are there are 10 blueprints, two skeletal meshes, two materials and 11 textures. 
the input is keyboard and mouse, and as I said earlier, this is network replicated. There's also a link to some documentation on here as well, if you get confused of how it works, how to set it all up, you can have a read through that. So I think this one looks absolutely amazing, it looks like there's a lot of stuff in this for us to use, and it really does look worth it if you want to set up a lot of AI in your level. I also just want to take a quick break here to say that we are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year, so if you do enjoy my content and you're not subscribed already, please do consider doing so as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So again, if you're not subscribed and you do enjoy the content, please consider doing so, but let's get back to the video. Now we have the zombie movement and modular interaction animations. So this includes 34 animations, including zombie movements and interactions. So there's taunts, crawls, hopping on both the left or right leg, and standing, i.e. idle, walk and run. There's attack from standing and attack from crawling. There's also taking down, grabbing, wrestling, punching, kicking and eating, as well as a recovery, so from going from slumped to stand or prone to stand. So there's lots of different variations of these animations for you to be able to create a pretty complex looking animation blueprint for this zombie AI to make it look really realistic and like an actual zombie. So something to keep in mind is this is the animations only. The game logic to work with the interactions is not included in this pack, so you will need to set that all up yourself. This is purely just the zombie movement animations. So these animations are rigged to the epic skeleton and they do have IK bones included as well. There are 34 animations, 32 of which are in place, and 2 of which are root motion. And as you can see from the video on screen, these look absolutely great, they look very high quality and very realistic as well for what you'd want and how you'd want to set it up. And finally, last but not least, we have the 4-in-1 modular research facility, the Mega Bundle. So this package includes over 797 high quality meshes. So as I mentioned, it's a 4-in-1 Mega Bundle. And the four different packs included in this are the modular underground environment, the modular secret military base, the modular research facility, and the modular research center exterior building. So what you may have noticed with all of those packs is they are all modular. So as I've said many times, I absolutely love modular stuff because everybody can have the exact same assets but create something which looks completely different to one another. The possibilities with modular stuff is endless. So some of the features of this is obviously it is a modular environment as I said and that is including all of the meshes are modular. It's got a modular exterior building and office props, an advanced master material and it's paintable, an advanced decal material, a blueprint for the door and light, so that's going to be moving doors and a moving red alarm light. It's very very well optimised, it's got high quality road textures, decals and materials and all the buildings are also enterable, so it's not just the exterior, you can enter them as well. There are 797 unique meshes, 47 blueprints, and all of these meshes do have customly generated collision. So with them being custom generated, it's gonna be more optimized and will have better performance than automatically generated collision. But on the topic of being optimized, there are however no LODs. There is 1,058 materials and material instances, and 500 of those are decals. There's 1,824 textures, with the resolutions ranging all the way from 512 by 512 to 4K. So it's got a good range of differences, some of them being very high quality. So as I've said with a lot of these, I think this one looks absolutely amazing. You're really getting a lot of content in this. I think they did one like this last month as well, where we got a four in one bundle. And honestly, it is absolutely amazing. We've got a lot of different stuff within this. And if this one specifically, all of it is modular so we can really do all that we want and I imagine because this is a mega bundle a lot of these different packs in here might be interchangeable so you can really mix all four together making it even more modular and even more different to what everybody else is going to have. So I think that'll be it for this month's monthly free assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace obviously being October 2022. Again we've got access to five amazing free assets which I've just covered. I think my favourite one this month around is probably going to be the Advanced AI Spawn System as I feel like that one is the most useful, at least for me anyway, and it's really got a lot of different stuff in there. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one was for this month, and thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful with me just covering these different assets and giving my opinion on them, and obviously there's links in the description down below to all of these different asset packs. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.